Welcome, welcome, welcome back to the weekly vlog. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Yo, man, Monday, public holiday today. So, no uni or anything, no work. So, happy about that. I'm literally gonna be resting. Yo, you know what, though? For the whole mid session break, I've not been doing any uni work. Like, I haven't touched it. Maybe I touched a little bit of it, a little bit of it. But other than that, I've literally just been truly chilling with life. And I guess it's hips important because, you know, time and life goes quickly so much that you tend to forget about just, you know, um, enjoying the little things and everything. So, yeah, I guess in a way it's good because I just get to chill also. Also, sorry if the noises are like heaps loud because I'm just like boiling the water to make myself my morning coffee but yeah what I was saying is that it's good and very important because we need to chill with like the, the little stuff in life we need to enjoy it and you know uni and, uni and everything obviously like uni is actually hard work you know sometimes I forget that sometimes other people forget that as well but uni but uni is actually a very 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 hard work so you're gonna be heaps committed and dedicated to it, to it and everything as well. So yeah, throughout the whole mid-session break, I've just been chilling, been chilling with life, and uh, yeah, just that's it, man. I think it's good. So when uni starts tomorrow, I'm gonna get back into it and just lay it all out because I think I think I've got like a month more of uni. So yo gotta write up so much shit as well because towards the end you got essays to write and shit like that as well so yeah man also where did my tv go what josh is right over here <laughs> the reason why i don't put this over here is because i usually do you know my uni stuff over here and shit as well so that's why i have no space i'm thinking of buying like you know those tv um that's like set up on the set up on the wall and everything but I doubt it because that shit costs so much money. I'm trying to save up some money as well. I don't want to be spending all my money just like that, man. It's not good. It's good to think about other people and, you know, maybe donate some money and everything as well. So there you go, man. Yeah, get it. Get it, Hennis. <laughs> Come on, Hennis. Get that pump, boy. Was it was it like heaps windy and shit though? Actually, yeah, I saw your story. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> got Fresh Prince playing, got my food over there, it's a late lunch man. As you guys can tell, I was at the beach with Henry and Jake earlier today, we just played a little bit of um, NFL, we just like throwed um, the NFL ball. It's basically it, we had a little throw, and I'm just chilling. Later on though, I have like a little shindig with my um, workmate, so that's gonna be so fun. Hopefully it is, I don't want to like expect so much. But I think we're just gonna chill and just enjoy each other's company and probably have like pizza or something like that. So it's a good way to just chill before the last weeks of uni starts, which is a good thing, you know? Just gonna enjoy the moment for today. And then starting from tomorrow, bang on, hard work all the way. So yeah, man, it's, it's been a solid, chilled, good day. And I'm happy, truly blessed with it. Got to always count your blessings, you know. So, uh, yeah, man. All right, I'm going to go eat my late lunch now, man. I'm starving, bro. We got that Mac going on today, though, for uni. Yo, yo, back to uni, yo. We gotta get back grinding for uni, man. I am somewhat excited, but not at the same time because I know I've got like a shit ton of work to do. <laughs> yo, yo, it is a beautiful day. 
in Wollongong at the moment. Um, this morning, sun's out and everything. Obviously in the morning when I woke up, it was like cold, but now, like in the sun, it's warm as, man. Like, literally, because I'm wearing like t-shirt and shorts, I could literally just like walk around with t-shirt and shorts and fine because it's warm as. So, luckily, I only brought my windbreaker with me, not a jumper, so yes, also, got to protect yourself with that um, UV ray because it's strong as in Australia, so I'm just scared of the birds. I said, I think there's a guy behind me and I'm vlogging. Oh well, I don't care. But um, yeah, man, go wear a hat to protect yourself, you know? Got the air jordan on going on here, security for man clothing. Heck yeah. Got my cold ass water bottle over here as well. Because, yes, cold water. Yeah, So yes, I got a fine. Like I've been doing so good since uh, two semesters ago. So I've been doing good for a year, a solid year, for not getting a fine for my car. And finally enough, it's just yeah, I was just waiting for the time till I got fine again. So yeah, I got fine again. But good thing that um, I think they give you yeah, they give you twenty one days to pay it. So I have more than enough time to um pay this properly as well because you know i don't want to be like spending money like straight up just like that because obviously i got other shit to pay and shit like that as well so that's fine man <laughs> got a fine freaking hell but um yo yeah, man the weather is providing such a good day in um Wongong. and um yo yeah, i'm just loving it man being just like literally just chilling out in the sun as well it's been just spectacular. So I'm just gonna rest now and you know, just like chill. And then after that, towards like the evening, work on my uni assignment because yo, know, you just gotta keep grinding, you know, like the last few weeks. So gotta go keep grinding. I gotta start on my essay as well because once due in like the last week for this month. So that's freaking fun. <laughs> Essay writing man, it's annoying, but you gotta do it because like in uni, you just gotta keep doing essay writings and stuff You can't, um, you can't ignore it, like you can't get by it if that makes sense Anyway, yo, really loving this t-shirt as well man, I'm literally just so scared that it's gonna shrink when I wash it I hope it doesn't man I really like this kind of t-shirt, you know, like much especially, I just hope it doesn't shrink man So I've been asleep for the whole time since I've gotten back from work. I'm tired, man. But now I just um, had a shower and everything, and you know, trying to like refresh myself up. And I'm gonna head down to uni. Um, good thing though is that I have a peanut butter sandwich that I made yesterday for like a little snack for uni. So hopefully that will keep me up as well. But um, you know, I am you know. I'm a day of working, like a full day of working, it gets you, dude. Like, it really, really gets you. And it was busy too today, so it was good. Like, obviously, you know, PK was we always like busy and stuff. Anyway, what I want to talk to you guys about is um, the Las Vegas thing. Like, people calling it that, people are saying that it's not a terrorist attack. Like, he's just like mentally ill and all this kind of stuff. Like, bro, what the heck? That is. Pure, pure example of white privilege. That's it. Basic white privilege and they're just not calling it a terrorist attack. Like, are you serious? And, you know, Donald Trump is going to visit Las Vegas for, I think, only three hours. You know, that, that guy is like, he's not even trying to be low-key about, like, how he doesn't want to do anything with it and how he, like, just wants to ignore it. He just wants to go there just to get over, over it and done with like nothing else. Like I, I saw a video of him went to Puerto Rico or something like that, and he was giving out like supplies and everything. And he was just like chucking toilet paper 
at the um, victims and that was it. And then he went back or something like that. I didn't really see like the full video, but that's mostly describing it. Like that's mostly what he was doing for the whole entire time. But he's gonna go Las Vegas and he's gonna visit all the victims and everything and talk to him only for three hours. Like, bro, he's been there for the whole day. You're the president. But obviously, he's not gonna do it because he doesn't have the capacity or he doesn't hold any, you know, he thinks that he doesn't hold any responsibility for America, like he has America right in his hands, you know, like right in the palm of his hands and he's doing nothing about it and everything and it's just, it's so annoying because you know, you're the president, do your shit, get your shit together, but obviously Donald Trump is just like a whole different species of, um, in the evolution chart, like, I don't know, that guy, I said, don't know how um, he's not assassinated or anything like bro I'm just waiting for the day to bro just impeach him people just like it's funny though people talk about it and stuff but you have to have um, go do something you know like go act upon it don't just say shit act upon it as well to back up your statement because if you're saying all this kind of stuff what what else you know what else are we gonna do? It's just voices. Some people listen, some people don't. You just gotta act upon what you want to do and like what you want to be achieved or what's needed to be achieved and everything. Shit, Shit man, I, I don't know what else to say. Like, freaking Donald Trump, that's it. He's just, oh man, he just needs to impeach, bro. He needs to be impeached. Someone needs to impeach him, man. <sighs> okay, that's my rant. That's my rant for Wednesday. Continue tomorrow. Another working day though, but gotta get that dosh, you know, gotta get that dosh. Hello! Happy Thursday! <laughs> I brought the fan in finally because it's been hot for the uh, past night and it is, you know, like nearly summer. Well, not really, it's like spring. Wait, is it spring? Or spring, yes, spring. Oh my god, oh my god, I had a brain fart a little bit. <laughs> so it's spring at the moment, and um, so far, like Australia's been getting super hot in the spring um, weather vibes, and I just don't know what's happening. It's a little bit chilly at night though, but like still, I can wear t shirt and shorts, like it's still warm. It's, it's, it's funny, but yeah, oh well, oh well, but yeah, so I brought the um, fan in, change in the environment today i'm trying my best to go to the library because i just have like you know a few more weeks left of uh this semester i have essays due i have one um essay due for the end of this week on this month for this month and i'm trying to go to the library and you know just like be concentrated and everything i went last night but it was like heaps noisy because i think like high school kids some of them go to uni library to I'm um, studying and everything, but they were just making so much noise. And I'm just like, bro, shut up! Like, I want to do my work. But um, yeah, they were just talking over the over the top. Like, I was putting like earphones on as well. I was, I was listening to music, but they were just speaking over the top of the music. And I'm just like, bro, come on, man. So um, as well, like, I I'm just feeling like a little bit lazy to like travel all the way to the library as well, even though it's like a ten minutes drive from my place. But I'm just feeling like a little bit lazy just because you know, like work and everything. It wears you out, man. So um, yeah, I'm just gonna be chilling on my study area right over here and just do my, try my best to do um, the essay and everything. I still have to research some stuff for uh, my paragraph for this um, essay. I'm gonna be talking about Allen Ginsberg, him in particular, talking about like um, creative writing aspect and modernism aspect as well, like creating, creative, creative, writer, creative writers on um, the modern mystic era, so that's that's kind of fun-ish. Yeah, that's kind of fun. So a few nights ago, I went to the library and I borrowed this book. It's Maya Angelou. Maya Angelou, I think, they, I think that's how you pronounce it. Does it want to focus? It doesn't want to focus though. No, it's not focusing. Anyway, so this says, Maya Angelou, the heart of a woman. It's very cool because like, obviously, at, you know, in the library and stuff, they have like hardbook covers and this makes me feel so like 
super old school and thing as well. I'm so surprised that they have um, my Angelus book though. Only one. I only saw one. They don't have much. You can see the tag is like the scans are fading out over here as well. The number of it. So the reference number on it. But yeah, I'm super happy. I am a fan of Maya Angelou. I haven't like fully read his stuff yet. So this is her first book that I'm reading ever. <laughs> and um, so far I'm enjoying it. It's super cool. This has nothing to do with my um, my subjects or anything. Maybe it does. I don't know. I'm just reading this um, purely for leisure. You know, right before bedtime or anything or like on the weekend. I'm just reading this and I'm uh, just trying to get like my mind off uni as well you know i just want my day to end with like no uni stress and not thinking about uni and everything as well so that's one of the main reasons why i brought this book um so i am like not far into the book yet but so far she's been talking about you know meeting billy holiday and meeting james baldwin and you know he's super cool man like just i'm just super excited because it's maya angelou she's like iconic Super iconic, so yes. So I have a little bit of a writer's block. It's like runners, you know, when they have like a wall block, kind of like that. And like it's like a psychological um, thing that some runners um, go through. And yo, I'm having a writer's block right now, man. I can't. I don't know what to write. Like I just can't find any um, examples or references to support my expl explanation into what I want to write and um yeah I can't I, I, don't, I don't know I don't know what to do I, I just can't find it I'm having a dry spell with um finding references to um back me up and yeah I just and I don't know what to write anymore man I'm having a writer's blog <laughs> man it's so annoying maybe because uh, one of the factors that's contributing to it is that I haven't eaten uh, dinner yet I mean, although I did have a late lunch because, you know, every time I work and stuff, um, my my times for lunch and dinner completely, like, it changes because I have, like, a late lunch. And then I usually have, like, late dinner as well, like, later on because I'm just, like, so full with lunch. <sighs> Maybe I should just, like, eat something. I haven't done any grocery shopping yet. I totally forgot to... Uh, yeah, I totally, I totally forgot to do some grocery shopping. It's like too late now. So I think I might do it on Saturday because I have more time then. I mean, hopefully. I don't know. But yeah, hopefully. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna, I need to get through this right block. And I uh, just need to, need to concentrate. Just to get on the game. <laughs> It's the Friday, old rare day. I don't know, I'm wiggling. Yo, all right, so I'm supposed to be at uni right now. I'm supposed to be at a lecture, although it's gonna end in like five more minutes. But the reason is that I couldn't wake up. I was just so tired due to, I guess, work and all this other stuff, you know, and I didn't really like sleep. I didn't really have like a good sleeping pattern because I usually sleep like midnight. And if like I have work the next day, I wake up at like, 6 30 and everything getting already and stuff like that and um most of my classes are all in the morning as well so that's probably part of it the semester my sleeping pattern has not been um great <laughs> anyway um yeah so i i woke up i could work um wake up but i was just like staying in bed for the whole time and i just like my mind wasn't like into it so i didn't want to go to class i didn't feel like going to class for this lecture um plus there's like a few weeks left for this semester and I'm just like merrily concentrated on the essay writing so that's probably it. I'm gonna go to the tutorial however I can't miss those because they take attendance for tutorial classes and um, yeah I'm just gonna be sitting, sitting there and like trying to like figure stuff out what to write for my essay while the teacher is talking about something else for two hours straight. I think it's gonna be good because I'm gonna say to him that I need to leave 30 minutes earlier for class because at four, I have I have another photography shoot, so I'm super excited about that. I hope this will make it, and I hope it will go well because this is going to be 
in the final assessment for my photography class and I'm hoping that it will all turn out well and everything as well so yes fingers crossed it's gonna be all good but yo it's Friday yo it's so fast and it's a Friday already man man having a short flight before I head to class all right here we go oh yeah get that small thing in rotation going on because they get all the beans and shit all in there. Oh, here we go. And I'ma just drink that and then head to class, yo. Yeah. And so this is what I'm wearing to uni today. And for the photo shoot as well, I mean, I'll be behind the camera, obviously. Not in front of the camera. <laughs> so I got this Billionaire's Boys Club hat that I want from Culture Kings like ages ago. I think like a year ago. Probably solid a year ago. Maybe two years ago. I don't even know, but it was ages ago. Um, got this Air Jordan Windbreaker, the security label that I got from N Clothing. My I Love Ugly watch that I have for like so long. Um, Jack Howden's Lonely merch, because you gotta support your boy. Uh, Boohoo shorts, very comfy shorts, probably like one of my favorite shorts. Normal black socks, and Nike Cortez. Heck yeah. Let's go to class now. Look how color coordinated I am too. Blue, blue, yellow, and yellow. Well, yellow-ish and yellow. Yes. Always gotta make a statement with the shoes on, so, yes. Yeah, it's straight up kind of parking, man. Thank goodness. Lucky me, yo. I'm the street because I'm scared to park like where I usually park because I got a ticket that one time. It's annoying, anyway. Good class here. Good class. Fun times. Alright, just got back. I'm just gonna have like an early dinner. Now I think after that I need to head down to Coles, man. I literally have like no groceries or anything. And um I was gonna get some food in me and everything, man. There's literally nothing to eat. And uh yo, photo shoot's all done as well, so I think it's an out well. I think it turned out well. I don't want to like um, over say it because um, what if I like look at it again and then it's just like oh it's alright, you know what I mean? So yeah, I'm gonna just uh, edit that later on and then um, that's it. That's pretty much it. You know? All right, I'm gonna end. This week's vlog over here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like it, please give it a big old thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And that's pretty much it. Enjoy life, guys. Don't take life too seriously because we're only here for a while. It's only temporary. So enjoy. Don't be an ass to everyone and everything. So uh, yeah, just enjoy life and just be kind to one another. In the meantime, stay groovy, listen to good music, and eat good food. Catch you guys next week. Bye.